Shalom, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Okay, now, um, what I want to do is comment on this video right now. This video is named Death Threats for Singing in Her Bra. And this is from the BBC News, which, you know, all these uh, media outlets are pretty much under, under the control of the, the ruling elite. And they're used for what's known as social engineering, which is nothing more than a subversion of traditional values or, or the traditional ways. All right. That's what it is. And um, this video, this this video is nothing but subversion and the so-called white man supporting the subversion of the, the Kyrgyzstani people. All right. Because that's what the so-called white man does. All right. He, he comes in and he subverts you. He undermines your culture. He undermines your way. He destroys you with subvert, subverting your culture. All right. That's why, that's how black culture is created. Black culture is basically the result of the subverting of the Israelites. Because black culture ultimately is not our culture. Our culture is a Hebrew Israelite culture. That Hebrew Israelite culture was subverted and systematically corrupted and corrupted to the point where we are today. But, Let's let's read this. It says Kyrgyz singer Zere or whatever has received death threats in response to her music. Now, first of all, I'm not endorsing nobody going and putting this woman to death. All right, I'm simply gonna gonna point out that what she's doing is subversive, and the people have a right to defend against subversion. And I'm going to show you in the scriptures too. But I'm going to say again, I'm not endorsing or telling anyone to go and murder anyone. All right. This is just simply for your understanding of, of what's going on. All right. Now, Kyrgyz singer Zere has received death threats in, in response. Now, these death threats ain't from people in the West. These death threats are going to be from other Kyrgyzstanis. Other Kyrgyzstani uh, men, other Kyrgyzstani women, who believe in their uh, uh, in their way, unlike you, 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 you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you don't have no way to defend. You're all over the place. It says, um, it says response to a music video where she poses in a bra. So here it is. You see her hair. She's in a music video with a red lipstick on. All right, cause you know. We wanna, I wonder who she got that from. Uh, prancing around in a bra with her cleavage hanging out. And this is supposed to be freedom. It's supposed to be, ch they, according to this, she made the song in order to challenge attitudes. No, this song was made to subvert. And we're going to get the definition of the words too. This, so this song was made to subvert the Kyrgyzstani people. This song was made to, to, to corrupt them, to weaken them. So the so-called white man can gain control. This is what it's all about. All right. Uh, to challenge attitudes towards women in order in order uh, to challenge. Uh, sorry. In order to challenge uh, attitudes towards women in a deeply traditional country. Meaning this country is deeply set in their own way. Now, I'm not saying the way that they have is perfect. The only perfect way is that of the scriptures. But certain things that certain cultures do around the world, even though they be heathen, are in agreement with the scriptures. Like, for instance, in this particular case, the, they want women in their society to dress modestly. That's in the scriptures. Now, <clears throat> let's play this madness. My name is Zirye, uh, I'm 19 years old. I made a song about discrimination on gender basis. My 
my song is uh, about. Uh, oh, you already got women in there, crazy haircuts. Is uh, this madness? Man. Women and people you know, in. She's getting funded, promoted, and protected by who? The so-called white man. I guarantee it. It's it's crazy, man. General, doing what they want, wearing what they want. So she, what she's promoting is women doing what they want and wearing what they want. First of all, that's anarchy. Yeah? No, you have to have rules, you have to have boundaries, and you have to have order. That's how life operates. When you're promoting people, anyone, no matter who they are, right, whether they're a man or woman, when you're saying they can do whatever they want and wear whatever they want and do the... Oh, that's, that's anarchism. Yeah, that's a satanic... Right, you can't live in a world where everyone can just do whatever they want, whatever they feel like. No, you need structure and order and boundaries, man. Yeah, so what she's trying to, what she's promoting right now is anarchy. Now, let's get the meaning of some of these words. It's corruption. I've got some of these words lined up right here. All right. Anarchy. Right, the word anarchy is what a state of disorder due to the absence or non recognition of authority or other controlling systems. That's what this woman here is trying to promote. They're trying to spread anarchy between men, between the, the righteous order between men and women, which leads to what the breakdown of society, the breakdown of the household. That's what this man is doing, he's subverting houses. He's spreading disorder. Look, which with some of the words which 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 go into that Synon synonyms for anarchy, lawlessness, absence of government. Yeah, because women are governed by men. Even feminism. Let me ask you a question: Who who passed laws, uh, uh, feminist laws? Who funded the feminist movement? Men. Oh, oh okay. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah, it was a bunch of men that set up feminism to destroy another bunch of men. <laughs> okay, so you women's really, really still ain't got no power because your power comes from the so-called white man. He's the one that runs the state. All right. That's why you're all up in his offices getting touched up talking about hashtag me too. <laughs> Clowns. Um, lawlessness. Absence of government, nihilism, yeah, mobocracy, right? So called revolution, man. It's anarchy, man. Insurrection, riot, rebellion. They're, they're asking the women to rebel against the men. That's basically causing a, 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 um, a, a, a division within a nation where they shouldn't be. Because the, the men and the women of a nation are supposed to be on one accord. That's how it's supposed to work. In order. But this is causing what? Rebellion, mutiny, disorder, disorganization, misrule, chaos. Yeah? That's what they're bringing into the Kyrgyzstani households. Which when you bring that into the household, ultimately you bring that into the community. Because a community is made up of many households. Tumult, turmoil, mayhem, pandemonium. That's what the so-called white man is promoting. Let's look at another word. Chaos, complete disorder and confusion. That's what, listen to what she said. Women should be able to do what they want. Now I'm going to show you in the scriptures. No, they shouldn't. My song is uh, about uh, women and people in general doing what they want. She wants wearing... women and people in general to do what they want. So that what le what that what what basically that's going to lead to is the basically everything which which they which is self destructive, right? That you don't want your people doing amongst you, right? Instead of fighting against it, instead of uh, keeping it to a minimum by um, uh, adhering to a standard and enforcing a standard now you're going to basically ease off that standard and allow everything which is unsavory and self-destructive to grow to subvert 
to corrupt. Let's give you some examples. Drug dealing. Okay. Uh, uh, um, um, homosexuality. Transgenderism. Feminism. And the list goes on. This is this is this is what they're promoting. But you have a way of life, which 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 you you are guarding. That's why these these men and whoever else are putting death threats on this woman because they want to defend their way of life. There is an immune response for when a, a, a corruption has entered in within the body. But Esau is not going to allow them to do that. All right what they want being who they want being who they want and not being judged and not judging anyone so not being judged what does that even mean so that's a that's a case that's anarchy right there that's chaos you need judgment patriarchy all right let's get some scriptures we're gonna come back to the word corrupt we're gonna go through that what the scriptures say man Wear what you want. Within society, the design of men and women's clothes is supposed to be different. Right? And also, in most ancient societies, even a virgin and a married woman is supposed to dress different. Alright? This is Deuteronomy uh, uh, 22 and 5. The man shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Yeah, because that's confusion. So guess what? When you, If you're going to hold this as a standard among your people, whenever the first man or the first woman jumps up, because you're always going to get, except for the kingdom of heaven and the nation of Israel, you're always going to get infections. You're always going to get um, transgressions of the weight of the standard. Okay, now what happens is if you ignore it and you don't put that evil away, it will only grow. It's like a virus. So when this happens, the men of the village, the men in the community are supposed to shut it down quick, fast, with whatever method is, is, is due and, and, and righteous and necessary. Because you don't want whatever's going on, like something like this. Or something like this to spread. That's why the, the men are reacting the way they're reacting in Kyrgyzstan. Because they're trying to defend their way of life from subversion. And that's exactly what this is. Let's carry on. Most of the Muslim people, uh, they think that girls should wear a hijab. Other societies, uh, like more open people, maybe atheistic uh, or something, they say that hijab is bad. But I think both of them are not true. People can be the way they want, and girls can be the way they want, and no one can say what to wear or how yes, to be. Can. First of all, men men govern the uh, um, over women, man. All right. So men decide the, 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 the rules and laws that women live under. And like I said, all you feminists, like you still, you still, your government is run by the so-called white men. So, so, <laughs> oh God, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Let's get this man. See, Esau messed everything up, man. It's got these people all kind of confused, man. All right, but it's all right. The Lord's going, going, going to sort it all out anyway. Real short, real, real short and sweet. That's how this place is going to be. It's going to go down real, sh real quick, real fast. All right, this is First Corinthians eleven and three. But I, I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai. So the man is supposed to be governed in Yahweh Shai. Yeah, governed by the Scriptures and by other men. That have been ordained by Yahweh Shai to guide them. Because there's order among men. This isn't no anarchy. That's why a lot of brothers come into this truth. And they fall out. Because they're not used to holding any form of order. Except for when the white man's telling them what to do. That's the only order. Whether, the, whether it's the white man or the black woman. 
that's the only thing they've known their whole life and it's, they find it hard to adjust and have another man right tell them what to do because they're out of order when you come into this truth you learn you learn order you learn that hey you got to listen to other men at times especially if the most i have put that man up in a position a lot of a lot of guys got that anarchy spirit man you know that's why the guy jump up hey f the elders and all this because they got that subversive anarchy spirit on them man they ain't got no order in them yeah because you got a wicked order and you got a righteous order order itself is not evil when you when there's righteous order you got to follow it man you go against that righteous order you're gonna bring what anarchy chaos all right so so um it says uh the head of every man is yahweh shy and the head of the woman is the man so the, the the head of the woman is the man a woman is supposed to be under the rule in in a house first of all every man everyone is part of a house and the head of every house is a, is a man this is the ancient way this is this is patriarchy there is no woman that is the head of a house man we 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 dealt with 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 tribes you do the research the way that, that israel was set up we were set up in in in, in tribes then it was according to the, the the clan then you would have like the the family the, the the wider family and then you would have the household and a household would consist with a group with a, like a group of families like right now you you deem like a household to be like just you your woman and your children really your household would be your like your granddad and all of your you know your uncles and then all of your brothers and your cousins that really would be the household you, and you would be a close-knit household work in the land then you your household would be part of another large household next to you many large ha households and they, that would be what the clan and then many clans come together re in relation forming the, the the tribe that's how that's how the 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 um the uh the 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 um the nation was split and then within the household you had other houses like your individual house now you're the head of your house but then you got your father and then your father had his father and then you had established men that were heads over the over clans and you, you could read up read it in the scriptures man yeah so that was how things were governed that was the the skeleton that was the back is the backbone of the nation and of governance it's never of the women the women are taking their orders from the men right and that's that and it's the man's duty to stand as a pillar providing both safety but also order and government all right and a lot, you, a lot of you, this is the shit that pisses me off because whenever shit's going wrong among you so-called niggas hispanics and never american indians the men are never to be found that's how messed up our nation is it's always some woman at the forefront talking or trying to deal with a situation that shows you our people are subverted man we're completely destroyed because you're only going to be as strong if you're if you're putting your woman out there to fight your battles your woman is weak you 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 sending the you you're not even sending the bench out there. She ain't even on the team, bro. She ain't even on the team, bro. You 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 taking somebody out of the kitchen and so, you know what I'm saying? You, you you're taking the piss, mate. Shit pisses me off, man. It's that that's that's why that's why the men of the Lord are standing up out there on the streets man and showing you look the men are got to go out there and get this thing done we got we got the ingredients that's what we're supposed to be doing man because this shit is crazy what's going on out here this is absolute madness all right it says and the head of the woman is the man point blank period and the head of yahweh shai is the most high all right so this this woman's off but they know she's off this you see the so-called white man man this is just him trying to subvert Kyrgyzstan and spread his propaganda and his wickedness all right or when to get married when to have kids that is not fair it's, no, it's nothing to do with what's fair it's about what's right and yes the, the 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 father does have power over when the daughter gets married yeah 
He does have governance over the life of his children, over the life of his lives of the, of his wives. How would this, you know? This, mm -hmm. Taking the, taking the. The video went viral and triggered an outpour of angry comments. Why? Because these people in Kyrgyzstan have a way that they're deeply entrenched in and they've, their way is being attacked. And they know it's an attack. And it's good. You see, if there were no angry comments, that would be a bad thing. That would mean that basically what she's doing is being ignored. And guess what? You can't ignore a virus because it's going to grow. This is, this is wisdom and this is knowledge. That's why you ain't supposed to turn a blind eye to wickedness because guess what? Wickedness grows like a virus, man. No matter what form of wickedness it is, whether it's idolatry, uh, adultery, uh, uh, um, thievery, lying, it, it, we could, whatever it is, if you ignore it, it will grow. Unless you deal with it, it will grow. Unless you address it, it will grow. And that's what these commenters are trying to do. She brought shame to the Kyrgyz nation. That's exactly what she's doing. Yeah? They're trying to... Esau is trying to subvert the nations, man. Spreading this wickedness, man. Now, let's look at the word uh, subvert. Because I keep using the word. we got to define the word subversion, man. All right? Subversion. Subversion refers to a process by which the values and principles of a system in place are contradicted or reversed an attempt to transform the established social order and its structures of power, authority, hierarchy and social norms. Yeah? The, you, if you want to conquer a people and break them down, you got to weaken them. So how do you do that? Through feminism transgenderism uh, uh lgbt uh, uh um you, you spread the idea of whoredom break up the idea you know destroy the sanctity of marriage yeah because once you break up the household you break up the bond between a father and his children uh, the uh, uh the, the bond between you break all the bonds you break the order you break the structure what you're left with is a people divided and confused and weak just like you so-called black people, you so-called black Hispanics and Native American, you're a people that fit that. You, you, you cannot come together in any way, shape or form and defend yourself because you are broken. Your houses are broken. Your communities are broken. You've been subverted already. Anything the so-called white man wants to inject into your culture, he does it with, and there's no fight back. There's no defense because you, you don't have a structure of defense. You have no structure. All right. Subversion can be described as an attack on the public morale and the will to resist intervention are the products of combined political and social and class loyalties, which are usually attached to national symbols. Following penetration and parallel with forced integration of political and social institutions of the state, these loyalties may be detached and transferred to political or a ideological cause of the aggressor. You see what? That's what you do. You go and you break the people down. You break them away. Break them away from their elders. You break the, the, the wife away from the husband. The brother away from his brother. You break it down and, and then you, you, you turn all that chaos into a new order with you at the head. And that's what's happened. If you look at the, the so-called black man's household, who's at the head of that? The so-called white man's running that. Because he's broken it down and, and re reduced everything to a corporate level. 
And all, you, all these households really s serve the corporate structure. What are these nigger women that are single, what are they serving? The corporate structure. Even when you get together, you, you're still serving the corporate structure. All right, subversion is used as a tool to achieve political goals because it generally carries less risk, cost, and difficulty as opposed to open belligerency. So you could destroy your people from within by subverting them with things like this. The media is the main way they do it. The media, or they'll go in and fund some radical group of women and all that. And really, really, in an ideal world, what would happen is those women will be would be shut up and put down. Or those men, if you've got a group of men coming up with some madness, they would be shut up and put down. But what Esau will do, he'll put a bubble around them and allow them to grow and fester and subvert and corrupt. This is this is this is the madness that we're living under, man. Corruption. That was the word corrupt, man. Hey, Genesis 6 and 11. It says the earth also was corrupt before the Most High and the earth was filled with violence. See, Esau spreading his corruption is increasing corruption, increasing wickedness. So the world, the way of life, which is, is being corrupted. Even down to the basics is, is being corrupted and, and overturned under the, the rulership of this, this devil. Okay, you Israelites are corrupted, man. You're completely corrupted. You are your mind. How do you want to? How do you know you've been corrupted? Because you have a standard that you was, that you're supposed to be living by, which is found in these scriptures, and you're about as far from that standard as we are from the. the I don't even know what star to say, man. <laughs> You, we are way, way, we're not just a little bit off. We're not just a little bit corrupted, man. We, we're, we're the full blown corruption. Yeah? Almost, pretty much unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. Totally corrupted. You know, like when someone gets like a, some form of pox, they might get one or two. But it might grow and just all envelop their whole body to the point you don't even know who you or who or what it is you're looking at. That's that's what you Israelites have been turned into, man. All right. It's crazy out here, man. Now let me get the scripture. Right, let me get the scripture, man. Cause we ain't see what we teach here, man. You got guys. You see, a guy like Vocab Malone, he wouldn't have no problem with what that, that video is doing and what that woman is dealing with. He ain't going to do... Uh, I don't even like mentioning this guy's name because to me, he's like a... That dude is, is a little ant. He's a little ant. And when all hell breaks loose in America, man, I would love to have a little drone following him to see what the most are going to do to him. Just to see, like, he he better pray the most I take him out now and he don't see the days of <laughs> hey that's coming because the Lord might just preserve him to the end and just have him go through some serious terrors man now you don't see Volcab Malone speaking against the Catholic Church which if you compare uh, uh, the men of great millstone the only thing we're doing is teaching the Bible we're, we're t telling people hey uphold the laws yeah, we're not telling people to go out and kill nobody. We're not telling them to do none of that. We're telling them to 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 go, telling our people to come back into where the Most High and to watch out for their enemy, who is their proven enemy, who's consistently been hurting them, the so-called white men in these other nations. This is where we're doing the good thing for our people. We're edifying our people. Yeah, we're coming out and we're pointing out the error of our people. The error of the so-called black woman, the error of the so-called black man, the error of the so-called Hispanic man, the error of the so-called Hispanic woman. We're pointing out their errors. We're showing them their transgression so that they, so that peradventure, 
hey, if the spirit is on them, they can repent. Because there's no way you're going to repent if you don't know what it is that you, you, rep you need to repent from. We, it, vocab ain't going to do that. Vocab ain't going to, he, it's not, his, it's not, it's not going to be in his spirit to go out there and tell our people the things that they're doing wrong. Now nah, he ain't going to do that because he's set up to, to corrupt our people too, in the way of Christianity. Now he ain't going to speak out against uh, uh, the Catholic church and all them boys, they be fiddling, all the money they got, all the money they got mainly off the, the, the backs of poor people and the, the backs of slaves and blood that they cooping up. All the, and you know how much money the Catholic church has, man? How come Volcab Malone ain't speaking out against that, man? All the poor people that are living down there in the favelas, man. The children of the slaves. The Catholic Church ain't helping them out. Ain't doing nothing for them. No, you know what they are doing, though? They're busting nuts in little boys' mouths and washing it out with holy water, man. And you ain't got a damn fucking thing to say, but you and your friends can have hour, hours-long fucking live streams talking about GMS. And all we, all we got is YouTube. All we're doing is going out in the street teaching on YouTube. This damn devil got his own TV networks. Disney, Disneyland is out there sexualizing the children. Sexualizing b billions of children worldwide every year. And you ain't got a damn fucking thing to say about Disney, do you? Them motherfuckers has got billions just pumping madness into the people's brains all day, every day. You ain't got nothing to say about that, man. But you, you got sign up to say about the so the uh, what you call black Hebrew Israelites, which we're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're Hebrew Israelites, man. That's an actual a actual identity in the scriptures. There ain't no such thing as black Hebrew Israelites, man. You damn devil. That's why we don't take you people seriously, man. We're against all this corruption out here. We're the only ones speaking up against it. And you want to come up against us, man? You how about Shami I I got something for you, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, Ephesians 4 and 29, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. What's corrupt communication? That which is against the scriptures, that which is is, is below standard. Whenever you're, you're encouraging uh, adultery, you're encouraging murder, you're encouraging theft, you're encouraging idolatry, when you're encouraging the blaspheming of, blaspheming of the name of Yahabah Hashem Yoshai, or you're calling on the name of another God, you're encouraging idolatry, that's corrupt communication. Not using the word fuck or the word, the word, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, some word that you socially deem unacceptable. That's not what corrupt communication is. Corrupt communication is that which is corrupt according to the scriptures. It's talking about doctrine. Just like what this, that, what that female was spewing in that video pr uh, promoted by the BBC was, was, was corrupt communication, man. She didn't have to say the word fuck. That was more that was more corrupt, a million times more corrupt than the word fuck, man. Because at the end of the day, fuck is just a word. All right? When you're promoting oh, women can do whatever they want and anyone can do whatever they want and all this stuff, that form of lawlessness, that's corrupt communication right there. That means you could be an idolater. That means you could be a homosexual, lesbian, do whatever you want. It's all good, yeah? No, that's corrupt. But that which is good, what is what is that which is good? The, the, the righteousness of the scriptures. To the use of edifying. Meaning what? You, you're supposed to teach someone and guide them the right way. That which is better for them. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna promote something. Uh, among men, among women, among when in regards to men, in regards to women, in regards to the children, in regards to the animals, to the plants, whatever thing, whatever you're doing should be promoting what uh, uh, um, life should be promoting discipline. Okay, the love of the scriptures. That's what you should be promoting. That's what you should be telling. The scriptures is clear. The scriptures tell you how women are supposed to carry themselves, how men are supposed to carry themselves, how the children are supposed to carry themselves. How we're supposed to deal with each other. How we're, how we're, we're supposed to deal with the, the plants. How we're supposed to deal with the animals. The scriptures even say you're supposed to care for the life of your animals. You understand? The scriptures, the scriptures deal with everything, man. On how, how we're supposed to live on earth to make this world profitable to live on. To live in a world of truth. Okay?
but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. All right, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to speak on that because I saw this man and I'm like, Esau, but this is what all day, every day, pretty much Esau's whole media system is filled with subversive, subversive communication, corrupt communication. And, and oh, oh shit. And you, you see what subversion is. And that's why a lot has changed, not only in the Western society, but in all these other societies that are being westernized in the last 70 years. Because Esau's used the media and legislations and fringe. At one time, what were, at, at one time was a fringe group of people who were under the radar. Like at one time, gays had to hide. They had to, that, that shit was kept to a minimum because them dudes were getting dealt with. Now, because they've uh, uh, protected it, the virus is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's subverting. <sighs> oh boy, you know what I'm saying? Like tattoos. They, hey, there was a time when when tattoo weren't a part of our culture at all. Now every man and his his mother got a tattoo, and all they had to do was get the celebrities. To start with and then footballers and that to start wearing tattoos and now all you niggas want it not one of you stood up and said nah like that's not part of what we do <sighs> that's because we got no structure we got no elders man to stand up and say no and that's why in gms the elders do that they'll stand up and say no we're not doing that man that's not part of the program cut that out that stops subversion from coming in among the body Oh boy. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom, man. Shalom.